Hi, I'm Walter. This short video is to illustrate how one goes about drawing the mandalas you find in my coloring book. First I show you how to do a template, and then I illustrate how I develop each mandala into a full figure. Let's begin. First, you're going to make the tool necessary to create the template to draw on. Take your piece of, one piece of paper, a spare piece of paper. Here I'm just using typing paper, copy paper, and fold it in half long ways. Then you're going to fold it again so you know where the middle of the page is. Next, you'll take your pen and just put a little mark there on the edge so you can see where the center is. Take the piece of paper you're going to be drawn on and decide how wide you want it to be on the piece of paper. And typically I sort of shoot for about three quarters of the distance across the paper I'm drawing on. So in that case I'm going to draw one line right here on my template. So now I have the center line and I have one of the outside lines. I need to have the other one that's the same distance away. I don't have a ruler and don't want to use one, so what I'm going to do is fold it again so that it the, they're on the outside. And then I'm just going to look and I'm going to draw on the other side of the page a line that gives me now a straight line, straight edge, a center, and two equidistant points. Next thing we do, since we folded it in half, we now have a way to create a vertical spaced centered on your piece of paper. And so you're going to draw your center point. You're going to draw top and bottom. And now you have, you have three of the eight points in center that you need. Next, you're going to line up and I usually do this by eye. You're going to line up your template rule here so that it's horizontal across the page. And you're going to draw your next two dots. And then you're going to draw the next two outside dots by lining up the center dot on your center stripe. And then I find the easiest way to align this is to sort of visually see the distance between this dot and the edge and this dot and the edge so that the line on this dot parallels the line on this dot. You'll probably find a way that works for you. So I'm going to draw those. Then I'm going to do that same thing on the other side. Okay, and now we have exactly the same thing, a little bit bigger in this case, as the template that is in the, in the, in the coloring book. So, how do we start? If you look at it for a minute and you think, hmm, what should I do first? And in this particular case, I'm using a fairly heavy pen. Usually I use multiple widths of pens, but just so it's easier to see in the video, I'm using a fairly heavy pen. So uh, let's, let's start by drawing a circle at each one of the exterior points. And you'll notice what I do is I rotate the paper so that angle of my hand stays the same and that helps make the shapes that you're drawing very similar. I've been doing this a long time so mine are very similar. Yours probably won't start that similar. That's okay. And so then you look at it and you think what should I do next? Um, here what I think I'm going to do and for some reason I just got started starting on that that edge I'm going to say I want to have a line that goes from the outside to about a third of the way in. And so I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, well, there's about a third of the way. And then I'm going to go around drawing my dots that I'm going to use to draw my lines. Here again, just looking at it. And And 
And I'll just say there's no right way to do this. Do it however strikes you as the most fun, most interesting. And so here I'm then going to complete those. Next, I might think, oh, let's put a little branch on each end that is approximately an equilateral triangle. And say I don't want to emphasize the other side of that as much. So I might use a slightly smaller pen to use a lighter line on the other side. And one thing I would say is don't worry too much about precise symmetry because the brain has this amazing ability to look at something like this drawing and impose symmetry on it when it's all finished. So if it even is in the neighborhood of symmetrical, it will, it will uh, look that way when you look at it. So as we proceed, we'll simply be doing whatever seems like the appropriate thing to do. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is put a little curved line off of each and come back around and draw it. So, and then let's say, hmm, let's complexify this a little bit. Let's take small line. And let's put another and what everybody says when they start thinking of doing this is I can't draw a straight line that long uh, it's just practice. Don't worry about it. It's a little bit wobbly. Like I said, your brains of people looking at it will make it look symmetrical. And you may be looking at this thinking, well, why doesn't he do that? But this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're sort of framing in here. And um, since I'm, and sometimes I'll just put on the back when I'm doing a big one like this and up so I don't get confused where I'm starting. I don't know why that makes me feel better, but it does. Uh, and so let's, um, since this is a simple one, let's, let's just go one of the things I would say is this is that I, I really don't recommend trying to do this with ballpoint pens. They don't resist enough markers or this type of archival ink. Um, felt tip pen gives you a little bit more resistance as you're drawing. And just reiterate as you look at it, something's going to seem like the next thing to do. And there's not a right choice, they all end up different.
Okay. So there we go. That's how easy it is. We've created the tool to make a template. We've created the surrounding circle to start with, and then we've done whatever felt like the appropriate next thing to do, and ended up with the Mandela. Have fun and enjoy. <laughs>